Welcome to another episode of Boomer Bus. I'm your host here, and today we're continuing our All Pro Film Series. Today with Bobby Wagner, linebacker from the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, once again, just going through the first team All Pro roster, looking at some of their film, talking about what we see, and then confirming if they have All Pro status or not. So anyway, Bobby Wagner coming out of college. I was a fan, definitely a big fan of his, uh, Utah State, smaller school. So again, you always had that question of if they can transfer the talent. Uh, but again, with, with linebackers, especially more so in that age, you just kind of really saw the instincts and reaction skills. And it's different than what they say now, the instincts. I don't think there's much instincts in, uh, the linebackers, uh, coming out today. But I do believe back then it was very easy to tell and still to this day, easy to tell who has that reaction time, who has the IQ to diagnose a play. But then the easy part, do they have athleticism on top of that? And so Bobby was a nice package of the two. And again, people uh, just kind of had questions about his ability to go to big time football. And of course, we know what happened when he went to the Seattle Seahawks. So one of the best linebackers in the game. Uh, playing right now. So, uh, we're going to look at some of his turnovers, incomplete passes and whatnot. And then if we got time, we'll jump over to some run plays too, because I think that's very important in a part that people forget about. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start week 14 and then work our way back. So, going against the Vikings here. Neon Green. So Bobby is, uh, I believe he's right here. All right. Uh, incomplete pass has some pressure by Bobby Wagner. We'll go to the end zone view and we want, you'll see a nice little pass rush move. So he ends up blitzing one on one with a tackle, sets him up and then hits a nasty spin move. Tackle gets a hold. I don't know if they called it, but definitely grabs his arm. And the blitz behind him made his way to the quarterback, but he helped on that pressure. And you don't see a lot of linebackers with pass rush moves. Most time you see linebackers get sacks, they're just blitzing and it's timed up right, or they're just fast and explode through the hole. Not a lot of guys can get on the edge against a tackle and win. So that's big time. So it looks like we got another blitz. And this time we got a sack. So Bobby's in the A gap, double mugging the A gap, and they both come. Who? And, <laughs> and that was the guard, just terrible. I'm not sure what he was thinking, if he thought the center was going to help him or what. But uh, we got a miscommunication on the O line, and that gets the quarterback killed. So good position. And, and Bobby, I mean, he makes a move, but you could see the guard just completely turns around to the next guy. I don't know if he was trying to play it off, but it, again, it looks like a miscommunication. So you can't let a dog loose like that. So Bobby Wagner's right here, 49ers again. Looks like he's bumping out. Playing man coverage, almost intercepted. And that was a bait. I mean, the route was pretty lackluster and obvious. Not, none against Kittle, but you saw what the route was. So he doesn't react fast because he wants the quarterback to try to throw it. And th knowing he has the speed to break on it, the long arms to get in there and almost intercept it. So a young quarterback in Nick Mullins completely baited him, played off a little bit, and then drove on the ball with great athleticism. I mean, you had two linebackers there, but still almost interception. That's big time plays right there. And then when you got young quarterbacks, you got to take advantage. So Bobby's in the middle. They're in the white zone. Got the run. <laughs> I wonder if he houses this. Uh, he might house it. He houses it. And that's great. We'll see the end zone view. Um. I wouldn't say it's crazy. We, we've seen this play, especially if you watch Luke Kuechly. You've seen this play with defenders. It's the young quarterbacks. Again, you got to take advantage of them. Because right now, he's sitting and waiting. And Bobby knows. He knows his uh, ability. 
He knows he doesn't have to mug this uh, running back right now. He knows that I can sit in case he wants to go vertical. If he sits down, I got the speed to break on it. And just incredible catch. There's some receivers that can't make that catch. You saw the catch radius. Again, long arms, ball skills, ball reaction, everything. And it has the speed to take it all the way back to the house. Absolutely nasty. You can tell I'm getting... Uh, <laughs> I get excited about defensive play. So we got Bobby Wagner here over the center. Looks like we got a little five-man eye front going on. Against the LA Rams. So Bobby's on the blitz. Helps force the incomplete pass. And again, that's just his speed. Being able to close on the uh, quarterback. Nice little dip. I mean, he's not a short dude. I forgot how tall he is. I think he's maybe 6'3", 6'2". Nice little dip around the corner. And I talk about this with pass rushers. Even though you don't need it because no one was blocking you, the quickest way to quarterback, you got to lean on that direct hoop. And you can see him even as a tall linebacker. He could get low. And so he's over here in this play against the Chargers. This is a good matchup. I wish I watched this game. And now you see him playing out in space. Oh, man, another interception he could have had. Just fluid hips. Absolutely moves well. He's over here towards the right of the screen. Ah, uh, they're not showing it, but just fluid hips. Look at the vert, the arms. The man's got incredible wingspan. He's got, like, some tight end type wingspan and catch radius. So you saw with the vert for him to go up and attack that ball it was a missed throw, but he almost made a play on it because he's that athletic. So we got him in the middle again. That's not him. <laughs> you got Bobby Wagner actually over here in man coverage. So play action gets to his responsibility. Hip of the receiver plays through the hands. To break up the pass. And again, you got your top linebacker putting a one on one in man coverage. And that's just ball skills to fight through the ball. I mean, of course, on the play action, they had the angle on them, but the speed to recover didn't fully recover, but plays through the hands like a DB. So we already see him pass rush like a pass rush or like a DN. We see him cover well, we see him jump like a safety. And now we're seeing him break up the ball like a DB as well. Another play over the middle against Keenan Allen. Uh, uh, All-star, not all-star, pro bowler. <laughs> Almost gets a pick. And just the reaction time. Again, giving him space, knowing I could drive on this. He's not taking me vertical. So now I react. And that's amazing. That's just amazing. I mean, I, I can't even really explain how good that play was. Because we're watching slow motion. So he takes some false steps. Once this break, he breaks outside. And so he's already moving. He plants and still runs and explodes to get to the pass before it's completed to Keenan Allen. And that's, again, long arms, that's explosion, that's short area quickness, the ability to sink your hips at that height, just boom, boom, boom. That's just such quick twitch muscle right there. And that's when you have a linebacker that can make plays like that over the middle, your coverage absolutely changes on what you can do. And that's against their top receiver. So we got um, Wagner over the middle. In coverage, again, he breaks like a safety. Dare I say a corner. And he reminds me of a certain linebacker from Chicago at <laughs> War 54. I won't in invoke that name, but Bobby's been doing it for a while. Maybe he's, he deserves that respect because, again, hips flip. And, again, he didn't totally break it up, but he's there. And if that's a catch, he's there to play through the hands. And that's just incredible movement skills. So Bobby's right here. 
blitzes, gets chipped, still applies pressure, and that was a well-timed blitz. He was about to blow Rosen up, so credit whoever. I think there was a running back. That was such a well, or no, I was a tight end. Credit him because he was about to blow Rosen up, but still has the explosion to get up and then also make another play and create some pressure. So we got uh, Wagner over here over the slot. Now we got Larry. So again, you talking about, I mean, Larry's older, but you're still talking about top receivers for the team. And you trust your linebacker to play out in space with him. Break on the ball, and that's a hit. That wasn't him breaking up the pass. That was him breaking up the receiver. So you got Bobby here against the Cowboys. Play action. Again, covering a lot of space, still able to break down, come downhill. Man, Bobby's good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, this is how I felt watching Aaron Donald. It's just like to see a position played at just towards the peak level is just enjoyable to watch. So we're going against Dallas again. Bobby's right here getting people lined up, and we already know the leadership ability. And again, look, if you think Bobby didn't know that that receiver is right there, don't fool yourself. He knows exactly what's going on. He's letting him pass him for a reason. So then you think he's open and he can break on that ball. And that's the thing when you have athletes that know what they're capable of, not just think they are capable of something, but know what they're capable of, then they can make big plays like that. And again, that's incredible coverage. So you lining everybody up, you baiting quarterbacks, you breaking on the pass. Of course, you got the great Earl Thomas picking it off, but uh, almost an interception for Bobby himself. And so you see the number of picks he could have had. Play action gets back to his responsibility and man coverage. And look how far down the field he is. Look how far down the field your middle linebacker is. Breaks it, knows exactly where his man is going to go. Knows the play. Plays through the hands. Again, you're talking about D-back level type technique. And so those were the turnovers, but we're going to pull up some run plays as well. Because I think he deserves that. I think he's a good run defender as well. Um, let's go Chiefs. Why not? That's a good matchup. Let's watch him against the Chiefs. And this is without Kareem Hunt, but still. All right, so we got a little reverse there. A little misdirection. Bobby makes that play. Bobby's in the A-gap. Sees the zone. Takes a false step. And that's athleticism. That's motor. He takes a false step towards the left. Redirects and then just continues to chase the play. Over the top again. Guard pulls. He steps down to the A-gap. Now, the run back does a good job of getting low and gaining some yards. I don't blame Bobby there. Um... Then plays downhill, and this is congested. Steps down, close, close. So he's looking for the next open gap, and the gap comes open late. Gets off the block and makes the tackle. And so it might not seem super impressive, but again, you don't make that tackle. That's a big game. So Bobby again, directing. And that's, that's more of a chase play. Not like a serious chase, but another false step, two false steps, just continues to clean up the play. That's probably a better word. But you again, if you watch Luke Keekley, it's a lot of cleanup plays in his repertoire. And again, you got to make the D line right. You got to make the D line right. The D line plays aggressive in these type of schemes. You let them do what they're going to do. And then linebackers have to replace and make the D line right. So again, tries to go back, uh, back door, false step. Doesn't give up, but again, that's a false step. 
So now we got Bobby again. A lot of tight formations for the Chiefs. So we got misdirect perimeter play. Bobby chases it down. Wow, that skipped way more than I wanted. But <laughs> Bobby chases it down. We got Bobby over the center. I feel weird saying Bobby so much. I feel like Whitney Houston. But we got two pools. Takes on the block. That was a hold, but takes on the block. And honestly, so far, I would like to see him take on those blocks better, especially when you see the pass rush moves. So he uses a little bit of extension and gets under the block. Okay, you know, I, I don't mind that. And it's fine. He went under the block. Um, I think with his arms and how big he is, he can afford to take on the block, like blow it back. And sometimes linebackers will feel like, okay, if I engage in a block but I don't get off and make a tackle, I'm wasting, you know, space. But the truth is, if you meet that blocker in the hole or uh, towards the line and you push him back or you stalemate him, then you're helping stagnate the line of scrimmage. It's when you let that uh, blocker come towards you and get in your chest or you try to dance around, that's when you're letting more, up more yards. And so I do think uh, Bobby could strike these blockers a little better. Hesitated too much on that. I didn't like that. Uh, no, we didn't get it. I, I would have liked to see him uh, be more aggressive downhill on that tackle. So against the 49ers, really good run blocking O-line. Steps up to the gap, running back, uh, cuts it back, cleans out the play. Now, I like that. He doesn't fly downhill, but he steps downhill a little better. So now he's waiting. I mean, I want to see him feel that. I want to see him meet that uh, fullback. But, you know, linebackers making decisions these days. Remember, they used to always say D-backs are making business decisions when they got a tackle. That's how I feel about uh, linebackers. So, anyway, that's it for Bobby Wagner, uh, all pro status. Um, as far as do I s confirm all pro? Definitely. I think... Um, I do think he was a little better in the run earlier Earlier on. I think most of these guys understand what the type of linebacker is these days. And so you see plays where he's more hesitant. He's more willing to chase than he is to come downhill. So that's part of Luke Keekley's game I like better. But the, the athleticism and the coverage and the blitzing and all that is off the charts. Absolutely all pro status for me. So anyway, go down comment section. Let me know what you think about Bobby Wagner. Share it around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And thank you for listening.